Hello, and I'm Dr. Scott Howard, and I'm going to show you briefly on what I do with allergies, mainly food allergies, but it also can be chemical allergies or environmental allergies. Now the first thing that I do is I just use muscle testing. You can bring your arm up to the side. And muscle testing really is I'm just finding a strong muscle. Just resist. I just push down using a strong muscle and it's not a, a, a test of strength or anything, it's just making sure that that muscle contracts. Once I've found a strong muscle, then I will uh, any foods that suspected, and I'd asked him uh, just right before we started videoing, and he'd said strawberry. So what we're going to do is I have vials uh, that's got uh, that represent a lot of different foods and things like that. So I just have him hold strawberry in his hand, bring your arm up again, and resist. And see, his arm is just already starting to jump, and he's not acting. In fact, I just asked him right now if he would want a video and he had no clue about what I was going to do. So really I'm just having him hold the offending, offending substance in his hand. We also tested a couple other things. Here's dairy and bring your arm out. Resist. And that one goes weak too. And then here is wheat and gluten. Resist. Yeah. And that one's weak too. Now if I had him hold sugar and resist. He's good and strong. So sugar is not, he's not really sensitive to sugar, but he is on some of these others. Once we have found the offending substance, we'll have the patient hold those vials that he's allergic to while he gets adjusted. And I will do a spinal adjustment to stimulate the nervous system because the nervous system at some point in time in the past has had an event that associated that food or that grass or that chemical along with um, an unfavorable event which then causes a reaction by the body. So the nervous system is programmed differently now to be sensitive to that whenever he's around it in contact, breathing or eating, things like that. And so whenever he holds the offending substance, his nervous system freaks out a little bit and causes the muscle to go weak. So whenever we lay him down and we do the spinal adjustment, after that we sit, sit the patient up and then there's a certain acupuncture points that we have to go through in a specific order uh, to clear this uh, sensitivity. Now I'm not going to use needles or anything, I'm going to use a laser to actually hit the acupuncture points and then we're going to clear the uh, allergy from him. Just dem I'll demonstrate. Okay, and I'm just going to have the patient hold his palms down here and I'm going to use a cold laser just like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit certain acupuncture points in a specific order and what it does is reset the body to the offending substance that he's holding. complete treatment there. Okay. All right. I'm going to have him hold out again. I'm going to push down. Just resist. Sure. You can just keep those. Resist. Now it becomes strong. Okay. You can bring your arm out. And I'm going to push down. Just resist. Okay. Now he's holding the substance and he has become strong. Now to make sure that it's cleared, I just touch a spot in the hand. Resist here. Well, it gets a little shaky. You can just relax it. So he's not quite clear on clearing the allergy, so we're going to laser the spine just a bit. It's going to stimulate the nervous system just a little more. Okay, you bring your arm out again and resist. That's good and firm now. Okay, so what we've done is we've desensitized him to those, but for it to go through a complete cycle, he's going to have to stay away from those products, the strawberries, the gluten, wheat, and dairy, I believe. Stay away from those products for 25 hours and his body should reset. Now if it doesn't reset, we'll, we'll know that next time we check it and if we'll have to do it again if it doesn't reset. But sometimes whenever patients don't reset two or three different treatments, they've got a lot of toxins in their body and that will not allow them to get rid of that sensitivity so easily. Okay, and also I'm going to show you uh, another thing as far as 
uh, nutritional testing at the front of the body and some in an area on the back of the body there's reflex points for s that correspond to each organ they also correspond to parasites uh, bacterial viral infections things like that and so I'm going to go through and touch these different areas and whenever the muscle is strong that means it's good and we're ready to go and then I touch those reflex points and if that muscle goes weak that means that that organ needs some attention there's something going on then it's not functioning properly and so then I can check some kind of nutrient and have him hold the nutrient. I could also put the nutrient on his tongue, same thing, and it's going to change that muscle strength while I touch that reflex if that's the nutrient that's gonna, he's going to need. If it doesn't change the muscle strength, then that's not the, what he needs. We'll go to the next one. So just kind of, I'll give you a brief um, introduction here. You can bring your arm out. I'm going to push down, resist. Okay. I'm going to touch the liver first, resist. Okay. A little bit. Gallbladder, cystic duct, heart, spleen. Ooh, spleen. Just a little. Pancreas, stomach. Now there's an allergy reflex right here. Resist. Okay. Small intestine, large intestine. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. Okay, so we found liver spleen and large intestine. Now he didn't go down, he didn't go weak really bad. Some people will really be obvious and some just have this shake to where they have can't control that muscle completely and that's just the body saying, whoa, I'm short circuiting because you're testing, touching that reflex. So then I can give him a certain nutrient and if it changes that little jump, did you notice that just a little bit, then then that's going to be the thing for him. So we're just going to try that. Okay, hold your arm out. Okay, and I'm going to touch the liver reflex, resist. It jumps a little bit. I'm going to have him hold a nutrient for the liver. Okay, I'm going to touch that again, resist. Oh yeah. Did you see the difference? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what it did was that just showed that he does need this because it strengthened that muscle response. If that was something like, uh, I'm going to give it something that I'm pretty sure will not change that and resist. Yeah. See, it's jumping. So not everything I give him is going to make a change. Only the thing that is going to be for that organ or if you know the physiology of what makes the organ work, then you can also give him that. So just a as far as then I'd have him take that and uh, the reflex should show negative from there on. Thank you.